Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Aqueduct Racetrack here on Sunday. It is the 28th of January, 2024. I'm going to look the second from Aqueduct, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Hit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Let's look at the second from Aqueduct, which is a good one. It's a claiming event going for a $36,000 purse. Race for four olds and upwards, never won two races here. Claim price 25000 Not too well. We have a field here of Seven horses taking a lap around the Aqueduct main track, which is 1,800 meters in circumference, or a mile and the eighth on the main track. I'm going to take the number five horse here. Steady progress as a top selection. 5237 in the Superfecta. 5237 Super. Top selection of five horse. Steady progress. This four year old gelding by Practical Joke. Now Paul Chatter Paul trains. Lane Luzzy gets the mount. The horse's most recent out of him, the 14th of January at Aqueduct. A mile and a claim 16,000 non 2 well. And the horse finished second by seven and a quarter lengths that day. He had a very wide trip. He had a little bit of a turn of foot late. He just couldn't keep up late, but he, he ran his heart out that day. I think coming back to a two-turn mile length, which he had success for on New Year's Day, I think he's going to be in a good spot to get the winner circle check today. Two back in uh, main 20,000 New Year's Day, a mile and eighth on the 1st of January. The horse went by ahead and had a dream tracking trip, stalking all the way around the race course. When he turned, had the turn of foot, he grinded it out to the wire and he got the job done. 61 buyer, not a bad race there. And then a Woodbine 3rd December, mile 16th, and a, claim, and a maiden optional 40 claimer. Even 6 by 6 and a quarter lengths that day. And he stalked, but then just kind of hit the wall that day. First start since the summer. He probably need the race there. And then a maiden 40 at Saratoga over the Wilson Mile. He finished 4th by 14 lengths that day. Not the best beginnings. Was a little bit wide and just not getting into it. It seems like he's taken, it, 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 it's taking him to get a few times um, to get to this point. But, you know, his buyers are getting a lot better. Training well, Belmont. I'm going to give him a shot here on the ticket. I think the two horse here seeking unity for Jose Lascano could win also. And Linda Rice ran a clunker on the 12th of January going on the 8th. It was his first start in two months. Maybe need the race in that start of lounge race where he finished fifth by eight and a quarter lengths that day. Was wide and just never getting the turn of foot. Prior to that, and uh, claiming 50 at Churchill with a 7, he finished 6 by 5 and a quarter lengths. And again, he just kind of hit the wall that day. I do like his numbers around two turns. If you look at some of his races last winter at Oakland, those races weren't half bad at all. Back to a two turn, lesser quality horses. At 6 to 5, I'll use him in the early pick 4 that begins with this race. But to recount my selections for the second now from Aqueduct, going to take the 5 horse steady progress. Give kudos to the two horse seeking unity. 5237 Super, 5 2 in the multi race. So, good luck to all. And please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.